Once again, the view from the uh, external camera on the Soyuz TMA-20 spacecraft uh, as the International Space Station comes into clearer view. Now just two kilometers separating the Soyuz from its uh, home for the next uh, five months plus the Rosviet module. This will bring uh, to uh, four once again the number of Russian craft at the station, two Soyuz vehicles and two Progress vehicles. The Russian unmanned resupply ships, uh, the 39 Progress that arrived back on September 12th, the 40 Progress that arrived on October 30th. And now a view from external uh, cameras on the International Space Station, uh, catching our first glimpse of the Soyuz TMA-20 as it uh, continues its approach for docking. The docking is scheduled about uh, 30 minutes from now. You can see the solar arrays on the Soyuz TMA-20 that unfurled along with the deployment of the forward docking probe just moments after the Soyuz reached its preliminary orbit after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan early Thursday morning Kazakhstan time, which was Wednesday U.S. time. Via the TV camera, we also... ...in the norm and yes, G-load 0.41, 3.7 meters. The Soyuz less than a kilometer away from its docking to the International Space Station, both uh, the Soyuz and the ISS approaching uh, the west coast of South America will cross over the Andes Mountains and then over southern Argentina on this particular orbit of the Earth at an altitude of 224 statute miles. Before the autumn... Well, the Soyuz uh, continues its uh, methodical approach uh, for docking to the International Space Station aboard the station in the Zvezda service module. Russian cosmonauts Alexander Kaleri and Alex Skripochka are monitoring uh, their systems in the unlikely event uh, they would have to activate the uh, TORU or telerobotically operated system as a backup to the core system, which so far is operating flawlessly. Station Commander Scott Kelly also monitoring the approach, uh, capturing it from windows uh, in the International Space Station uh, with both video and still cameras. No, no. And we've regained our downlink television capability through the tracking and data relay satellite system. A good view of the International Space Station from the Soyuz, now just 235 meters separating the Soyuz from its home with a uh, range rate of under one meter per second now. Soon we'll initiate a period of station keeping that will last uh, about eight minutes or so to enable Russian flight controllers to check the Soyuz systems one final time uh, before the uh, automated final approach uh, commences. The visual range is 200. Copy. Range 200 visually. The uh, flashing uh, beacon that you see at the uh, forward end of the uh, Soyuz uh, and the orbital module portion of the uh, three compartment Soyuz vehicle is the uh, core's automated rendezvous system that sends navigational data, actually beams it back and forth. Uh, between a comparable system on the Zvezda service module, providing uh, Soyuz Commander Dmitry Kondratiev uh, with updated information on his distance from the docking port of the Rosviet module, as well as his uh, range rate and uh, rate of closure on his target, which is the Rosviet. So 
employees in the International Space Station now passing to the east of Montevideo, Uruguay, moving from southwest to northeast across the southern Atlantic Ocean, soon to cross the equator. About 180 is the range, the range. You have you have to select back forty four. Copy and back. Um, take some pictures um, before we uh, go into clips. Yeah, and um, go ahead and um, select. Uh, the uh, final approach command enabled, but do not send that command yet. Copy. And that command is set to go on your go. The final command uh, to reinitiate uh, the approach for docking uh, is set to be issued. Everything in good shape. All of the commanding on time for the Soyuz vehicle uh, that will reinitiate its final approach momentarily. And the Soyuz has just crossed the 100-meter mark, approaching at uh, about half a meter per second. Perfect uh, parameters and all Soyuz systems operating in excellent shape. Visually, the uh, range is 80, and uh, nominal range rate copy. Based on your visual assessment, the range is 80. Seventy. Visual range. Nominal range rate. Copy seventy visually and. Uh, we have a little over two minutes uh, before sunset. Copy. And uh, the crosshairs are aligned, and um, we have a good visual on them. Copy. So I use uh, less than 60 meters away, closing at a rate of three-tenths of a meter per second, having just crossed the equator. We are just minutes away from the arrival of Dmitry Kondratiev, Katie Coleman, and Paolo Nespoli at the International Space Station, which will be their home for the next 150 days. I copy. Right again. Visual assessment of um, range is 45, and range rate is nominal. Copy. Please monitor uh, SSVP. Sunset. Uh, what's your visual on the station and the target? We have a good visual uh, on the target and the station. 
Copy, Dima. Dimitri Kondratiev confirming uh, that he has good visibility on uh, the docking target on the Rosviet module. Uh, you saw just a moment ago uh, the uh, basically the headlight on the Soyuz vehicle uh, to provide additional illumination of uh, that docking target on the Rosviet module. Less than 40 meters separating uh, the Soyuz from uh, Rosviet. The uh, core's antenna should be retracting uh, just a moment or two from now, as planned. And uh, the visiting vehicle officer in Mission Control Houston confirms uh, the retraction of the Soyuz core's antenna, as planned, at a distance of 34 meters. And a good view of the docking port on the Rosviet module. And uh, Moscow, range is 30. Copy. Range 25. The Soyuz uh, and the International Space Station just 30 meters apart crossing the west coast of Africa over Sierra Leone. Range 20, nominal range rate, crosshairs are aligned. Copy, Dima. And uh, you may be uh, performing a roll maneuver. Copy range 18, Moscow. Range rate nominal. We copy, Dima. Eighteen meters away, the Corps' automated rendezvous system providing the auto correction for the crosshair uh, triangular shaped uh, docking target just underneath the docking port. Docking is imminent. How is everything? The crosshairs are aligned. Uh, six, uh, actually, eight meters range. Now seven. Seven meters away, standing by for contact and capture. Range three. Range rate nominal and contact. Capture confirmed on display 44. Docking confirmed at 11, 11 p.m. Moscow time, 2, 11 p.m. Central time over the southwest corner of the Republic of Mali in Western Africa. Docking occurring at an altitude of 224 statute miles. A multinational crew has arrived at the International Space Station in time for the holidays.